This is the Samsung PM991A NVMe drive. It's a NVMe M.2 drive, so it's a solid state drive in M.2 2242 format. So it measures 22 millimeters by 42 millimeters. It has an interface PCI Express Gen 3 times 4, a capacity of 256 gigabytes of storage, and the manufacturer promises a read speed of 3.1 gigabytes per second and a writing speed of 1.3 gigabytes per second. I'm going to install this drive on the computer and check if these promised speeds are really achieved by this NVMe model. But first, subscribe to the channel because I post new videos every week. Let's get a computer already opened with an M.2 connector, but we have a problem because we have a length of 80 millimeters on the motherboard and this drive is only 42 millimeters. When connecting to the M.2 slot, we don't have the screw for the 42 millimeters. The module tilts. For that, we'll need an extender. Let's remove the NVMe drive from the computer again. We put the extender on the module, like this, so we can extend the module to a length of 80 millimeters. And now we can put it back in the M.2 slot to fit properly and securely. We take the screw, push the extender to line up with the hole and put the screw in. Tighten the screw to hold the module and so we have the NVMe drive properly installed on this computer and the module will not come out from the motherboard. Let's close the computer and run a speed test. Let's run the tests. We are using Crystal Disk Mark and we'll do five passes and with a size of one gigabyte, we choose the drive and we want the results in megabytes. We are running four tests, a sequential with eight queues, another sequential with one queue, a random test with 32 queues, and final, a random test with one queue. We'll run all the four tests and we click all to start the tests. And we are going, we'll see the results. The first is a sequential with eight queues and one thread. Let's wait for the results. In the first result, 2,454, now 2,465, let's see more results, the same result, it will do 5 passes and give me an average, let's see the final test, so 2,465, now the second test in reading speeds, this is a sequential with only one Q and should be lower. Let's wait for the first result from the first pass. So 1,242, this is normal, almost 50% of the earlier result, the same sequential test. Let's see more results. So the final test, 1,242 in this sequential. Now the third test is a random test with 32 cues and should be even lower from the earlier test. So let's see the first result we have. Let's see, 377 megabytes per second. This is normal. Another random result, 378. So with random tests, the reading and writing speeds should be lower because the data is around the drive. The final test is another random test with just one Q. And let's wait for the first result to analyze it. And the first result is, let's see, 40 megabytes. So even lower than the earlier result because this is a random test with just one Q. And we're getting 41 megabytes per second. Now, we're finishing the reading tests and we'll jump for the writing tests. And the writing tests 
so it should be even lower. So we're starting with a random, with a sequential writing test with eight cues and wait for the first result. So 869 megabytes per second, lower than one gigabyte per second. That's not good. The maximum speed should be 1.3 gigabytes per second of writing speeds in sequential mode. Let's see the final result. So 869. Now the second test is a sequential test with one queue only. And let's wait for the result. Almost there. Let's see. So a bit lower, 814 megabytes per second in a sequential test with just one queue. It's running the fourth test now, 824 megabytes per second. So almost equal to the sequential writing earlier. Now the random test with 32 cues, the writing speeds. Let's wait just a little bit to see the first result in this test. And let's see, 428 megabytes per second. That's interesting because it is higher than the reading speeds in the same test. The reading speeds was 378 and the writing speeds is 428. 28. That's not normal. Should be lower, but okay. Now the fourth test is a random with just one queue. And let's see if the results are similar to the earlier result. Let's wait for the first. 92 megabytes per second in a random test with just one queue. That's very interesting because with reading speeds, we got just 41 megabytes per second, but okay, we accept that. And we got in random, the fourth test, 96 megabytes per second. And these are the final results for testing this NVMe drive from Samsung. We got up to 2.4 gigabytes per second. And that was the speed for this Samsung NVMe M.2 drive. Let's remove it from the M.2 connector on the motherboard. And this is the Samsung PM991A MZ-ALQ256B model in a M.2-2242 format. The manufacturer promised reading speeds up to 3.1 gigabytes per second, but we only managed to reach 2.47 gigabytes per second about 600 megabytes per second less, which is significantly lower, which corresponds to 19% less. Regarding the writing speeds, it promised 1.3 gigabytes per second. We reach around 1 gigabyte per second, 1.2 gigabytes per second max. 2.47 gigabytes per second of reading speeds, it's already very good, but there are new NVMe M.2 drive modules using PCI Express, which can reach much higher speeds, up to 7 gigabytes per second. I hope you enjoyed this video, that this video proved the real speed that this NVMe drive can achieve to help you decide if you want to buy it. Now, subscribe to the channel because I publish new videos every week. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any questions about NVMe drives, write in the comments.